I'm gonna use this Brow Wiz by Anastasia. This isn't the, the darkest color, Grey Night, just to kind of give my eyebrows some kind of shape. I'm gonna just, oh my god, this is how much I have left, oh my god, that's so freaking sad. I hate when I run out of products, specifically during this time, because it's one of those things where you feel guilty for ordering like makeup, you know? Because it's not essential, it's not a thing that's important right now. The only thing that's really important is like, well you guys know what's important, but what might be important to you might be important, you know, what am I saying? It might not be important to someone else, so for example, buying a new eyebrow pencil. I don't feel like it's important. I'm just gonna use this until it runs out and just wing it, I guess. I don't know, I just feel like kind of guilty ordering. Just ordering makeup, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's okay. All right, so after I kind of pencil in my eyebrows, I like to, I don't know what this, this, technique is called but I guess it just kind of shapes them a little bit and doesn't make them look too harsh and I just use my finger to do that okay so I think we're good with brows the next thing that I'm gonna put on I don't really need it right now but for the sake of the video this is the perfecting skin tint this is by Glossier you probably you've probably seen this in one of my videos but um this doesn't have full coverage it's basically what it says a skin tint it's definitely not gonna get rid of like i guess blemishes that much it's just skin you know it makes your your, your makeup look like skin and that's what we want so i like to use my fingers with this i just started doing this recently i just feel like it gives a better coverage when you use your fingers the brush is fine and I'm not saying you can't use a, a brush for, for this um oh my god I'm stuttering a lot but yeah it, I'm not saying you don't have to use a brush but I feel like the brush kind of picks it up more so next I'm gonna put on some concealer so this is the stretch concealer by Glossier <laughs> I'm telling you, they should just freaking sponsor me, please. They could just put on your fingers like this, just warm it up a little bit, and then I just put it under my eyes, and I put it on my eyelid too. It really does make a difference when you wear concealer. I feel like for women that that don't wear makeup at all, or they just want to, you know, take baby steps. Um, just putting some on my blemishes but um, I think really the only products that you really need is concealer um, and like a brow gel or something you know my favorite product is definitely con um, not concealer um, mascara I don't know like every time I put on mascara I'm just a whole new woman so next, put on mascara. This is by Glossier. It's the, their Lash Slick. So with me, when I put on mascara, I like to look down at the mirror and just go up like that. I feel like it gives more, it gets through all of your lashes better when you look down. And this literally separates your lashes. It's in so right now I have like three favorite mascaras I've used I've honestly experimented with so many different mascaras it's ridiculous like I had to throw away so many like empty mascara jars because I've used so many different ones so the top three that I like is of course Glossier um, I love the Better Than Sex one by Too Faced and also Fenty Beauty 
the mascara that kind of just dropped, I think, in the, the winter time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I think it was the winter time. But that's like, oh my god, those three right there, I use them in like rotation. So if I'm running out of one, then I'll buy the, a different, you know. Normally, um, <clears throat> because I like mascara so much, I kind of like my lashes to have like that the full effect. I'm gonna just let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna put on a second coat of mascara. So I also have the Glossier um, Pro Tip Eyeliner. It looks like this. Um, I'm not gonna use it today, but if I'm going for more of a dramatic look, then I'll put on, you know, an eyeliner. This is the Night and Shine highlighter by Glossier. I normally put on like highlighter before my blush. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but actually no. Sometimes I maneuver, so it depends how I'm feeling. So I'm gonna just put on a little. And I'm gonna put a little on my eyelid, my eyelids too. The next thing I'm gonna put on cloud cloud paint and this is also by Glossier this is the color dusk I noticed that for me um, as of recently I've been kind of going more to liquid blushes I just feel that they're just better in my opinion because they're easier to move around I used to put on powdered powdered blush but I've been going for more of the natural kind of look, so <clears throat> liquid definitely makes me feel better. For me, cloud paint just, I don't know, it makes me feel like its it looks better in a sense because it looks like you're naturally blushing, you know, instead of just having like powder all over your face. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with the second coat of mascara. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna kind of put some on my lower lashes too. So you can just look straight ahead when you do this. And then I like to kind of wing out the ends of my lashes. Kind of give it like that wing eye effect, you know? Okay, so we're done with that. Um, so this is their powder. I'm not going to put on powder today, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is by Glossier too. Oh, man, I didn't know how much I, I loved powder until I started using it. It's definitely a bit of a lifesaver, but when I want to go for that more glowy natural look, then I'll just skip it. And of course, if I'm going out, like that's the one that I need to use. And I also have another one that's really good. Um, it's by Laura. Laura Mercier, but it's it's not the regular one. It's the one that has like the glow. I don't remember what it's called, but that one is really good too. So I'm sorry. This is the Glossier um, Generation G lipstick, and this is in Leo. So these lipsticks are just it's just a sheer lipstick. So it looks like lips, and it doesn't really look like you have makeup on. And I kind of like to dab it on my lips. Then lastly, I'm gonna use the Glossier um, lip gloss. And I used to always have like Fenty lip gloss, but I think the Glossier has become my new favorite. Like, just look at that, oh my God. Lip gloss definitely pulls an entire look together. It's crazy. Okay, so that's all of my products. That's everything that I would, you know, use for like an everyday kind of look. I'm putting on some coconut oil. But for like an everyday kind of look, if I'm going to work or going to the museum, I don't know, like it's just a, if I'm going to go do something, this is the look that I would go for. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this quick little video. Um, I definitely want to make more videos like this, like a sit down and talk video. I have a lot to say. So 
so yeah just comment down below and also make sure that you guys are subscribing to this channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up as well and comment down below any kind of video ideas that you guys have in mind or anything that you would like me to do so yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night and i'll talk to you later bye